Hi, it's Grandpa Butler. Uh, I'm trying a number of experiments today just for fun. Uh, we're going to do a starry night in Salt Lake City. So uh, for the skies, and we're going to do it in a Van Gogh kind of style, obviously. A Prussian blue, a couple of oranges, a bright yellow, and a light blue color for the temple down here, Salt Lake Temple in the foreground. Little touches of blue and trees at the bottom are going to be this uh, very dark green. And then in the buildings right here, we're going to have this, uh, this mixture of indigo blue, crimson red, mostly the blue and the red, and then after little touches of green and this orange. Okay, so let us start with, with the sky. All right, and do yellows. And so I've got my yellow on hand, so I'm going to put little touches of it here in the building. Uh, this moon here uh, looks kind of like a D. So D is for declining, but it's really night. not. Uh, in other words, it's a moon that's going to get bigger and bigger in night sky. It's a waxing moon and not a waning moon, and so I'm going to hit little yellows here for these stars right here before I forget, and for this moon. Oh, and let's put this guy here, and, and a yellow here before we forget about him too. Uh, and now we're going to do, we are going to do our own thing here without too much reference to the genius of Van Gogh's paintings. Uh, and we will probably regret that, but we'll see. Again, all these uh, paintings with these watercolor crayons are kind of experiments here that we're trying out. Uh, they use very little water, they're very portable easy to use. I guess I should do like sky here too. Huh? I don't have buildings. And and maybe I'll have this come this way here. Uh, right here around these areas. I can see that if I wanted to do uh, really a Van Gogh-like picture I'd have to do lots of intermittent lines, kind of like this, going across here. Now, this is our very first experiment in this style, and already I kind of like doing it. It's very conducive to watercolor crayon style that we've been working on since May, just starting May 2020, using uh, permanent ink and watercolors. Um, very explicitly leaving some pigment in most of uh, most of our pictures on the on the paper, and then uh, uh, just kind of trying to enliven this up. So let's just do a couple of circles around our little stars, which you can see are arbitrarily drawn in the sky, in the winter night sky. And so we've got to remember that when we go now to touch it up here, that we need to, to do it with a uh, in the same direction that we're doing our, our drawing here. And we'll do a little bit of light blue here and there. So we'll get this guy in here and a little bit of more here. And orange, we're gonna put some orange. Oh, we'll do some, yeah, gotta do some blues around here, light blues. Seems to be a Van Gogh style. I haven't really studied it, but I was struck when I saw Starry Night this past week, yesterday in fact, how 
how very much it is like a watercolor crayon kind of artwork. So I think for a while we may experiment with this. And that is uh, kind of orange here, we'll put around here. Uh, probably should put some light blue around there. Okay. And here we go. And put some on the outside there. What, uh, what Grandpa thinks is when he's working with these dark blues and other colors, especially like a yellow, that I have to go through and get the yellow that's put in these buildings. Little bits of this orange here. Uh, just to maybe pull it together. Uh, and we were going to add some blue around here, and got some blue around there, and maybe maybe do some more blue in there. Now uh, we've got a watercolor brush. Uh, Grandpa's found it's very convenient to take on hikes, camps, and other places where we use it. Uh, very portable kind of device. So we're getting our our lighter areas all lit up here and uh, it's really kind of a fun effect but this could be a little bit deceptive right because we all look at starry night and think oh what a what a clever bit of genius that was and we may be sort of overstating our own case here the other thing we're doing is we're we're taping the pictures down here when we paint them. Uh, Grandpa likes to move them around when he's working on it, but may make it harder for you to see what he's doing. So he's decided that what he needs to do is, is to uh, maybe tape it around, try that for a while and see if that's, that's okay. So in the Starry Night picture, there's also spots that are left uh, left white that are obviously done in uh, white paint but here why not take advantage of our medium and just have a lot of fun okay uh, and just leave some white spaces here. Okay, so yeah, so far I think I'm pretty pleased with that. I think that we could have been st stronger uh, contrast here and there, and that would have been maybe a little bit better kind of homage to Van Gogh. But, okay. Uh, we're doing uh, homage to the Grand Butler children and friends. Again, appreciate the daughter-in-laws for encouraging us to do these. Uh, appreciate Soren for helping us set this up. Uh, one of my grandchildren. I uh, love my children in a very profound way. And grandchildren. And I uh, hope they always, always know that. Okay, so there we have the sky. Yeah, I'm okay with that. So the buildings here, we'll do buildings next. The buildings here are going to be mostly this uh, indigo blue here is a dark blue. So we're going to do it as if it's more organic than downtown Salt Lake buildings normally appear to be. A little bit more curved. For this one building here in the background, I think we'll do it 
with some crimson red and then you go on top sort of getting in there and you go blue around this Salt Lake Temple here downtown Salt Lake and a beautiful landmark out west here and okay and bring it down along here and then I'm going to put some again and attempt to be a little bit more organic with more buildings here not as squared off as the temple building that's one way to highlight the temple building and the organic nature of the other buildings is sort of substitute for the trees that are found in the Van Gogh original. Okay, what do you think? If we light that up now, will we get what we wanted? And I'm hoping so. I'm worried I don't have enough in it though, but it's okay. Uh, what we want to do is mostly have fun in life, and my sweetheart, 50 years, has always tried to make sure that me and our kids have fun. He's always told everyone how much she loves them. And uh, been an extraordinary friend, as well as mother and grandmother. Okay, so here we're going. I hope, I hope we're seeing these buildings here. Better work from left or right or I'm going to be smearing a lot. So again, I'm, I'm trying to stroke in the sort of same way that we have these buildings here, that we put the, the watercolor pigments in, and because uh, they, they have this uh, vertical sense to them, like trees and stuff in the city. There's kind of city tree, right? And around the temple here. Now the temple I'm thinking of just like uh, in the original Starry Night, just a few blue highlights here and there. To give it a little bit of depth, but just leave it mostly white. I think I might even at the end here come back and go over some lines around the temple. Okay, so now the temple, this is this light blue here. Um, and maybe under here, as if that's a shadow along here and here kind of as if shadows though clearly at night and differentiate here and there are different spaces so maybe a few on here and then even it out I'm wondering I think maybe I'll come back and also touch up those windows maybe darken them in with that and get the watercolors done. Okay, so we dip our brush here and just kind of, oh, look at that. Some of the leftover views from the buildings are in there. That's kind of cool. That's kind of actually wonderful, isn't it? I love it. How blessed can you be? Huh? I'm pretty blessed when you've got a remarkable family like I do. I wish them well in these times of interesting 
adventures. How about if we get a little bit of that and put it, oh, more than I wanted. Interesting. Wipe it out there. Okay, and put it there. Maybe there. Maybe there. How's that? Okay. So, there we go. And I'll kind of freeze at the bottom. And at the very bottom, we'll have like a typical ranch scene and whenever, street scene, whenever Van Gogh was painting sort of layers of these kind of blues here and there. Draw back the sky blues here for our streets here. And I think in our trees here, which we haven't yet lit up, maybe a few yellows is from above. I don't know if that will help kind of uh, serve as a fun band here. But there we go. Try and have lines, but lines that are kind of fun and start and stop. Let's do our trees. Yeah, I'm glad we put those touches of yellow. I think those are fun. Uh, trees at night. Trees at any time are lovely, even uh, free of their leaves. But uh, Grandpa's taking a midnight hikes out in the wilderness at night. It's a really lovely time to be out, more so in the summer than in the winter. Yeah, at least that's Grandpa's impression. Okay, so we're uh, we're gonna just do highlights on the temple. So you, uh, I just took the tape off and uh, filled in the windows here on this this uh, building or Salt so, so Lake Temple, and uh, I think we're done. Um, hey, uh, had a lot of fun with this. I hope you did too. And uh, be good to one another and I'll see you again soon. Bye.